In this video, I will demonstrate my method for repairing a crack in a drone stock. Considerations as to why drone stocks would not be sent out for repair are repair costs plus shipping costs would exceed replacement cost. Replacement part ferrule would not match original ferrule. Shop will not or cannot guarantee that the old ferrule could be removed without damage. Negative downtime spent without part. These are some of the tools I'll be using for the repair. Also, I have a collection of African blackwood dust, and I'm using thin cyanoacrylate adhesive. is used to fuse African blackwood dust to crack and surrounding wood. An inspection of the stock reveals the extent of the crack. It's clear that it runs all the way to the ferrule, at least on the on the open end of the drone stock. The exterior is inspected, and there appears to be a little surface crack, but it does not appear to be in line with the interior crack. The bore is also examined from the other end to make sure there's no other uh, hairline cracks running from one end to the other. This image shows where hemp has been packed into the crack over a period of time. It also shows some unknown debris down the bore. Here I use a nylon bristle bore brush to clean out the bore and fully expose any and all damaged areas. Unknown debris is still present. Further brushing with nylon brush and a steel wool is needed to clean it out. Fine steel wool plug used to swab free raised decayed wood fibers. Steel wool pushed through from one end and then back through from opposite end. I'll now prepare the crack for filling. A curved very thin file will be used to clean and open up the crack in preparation for blackwood dust filling. Using a file to clean and open the crack I pick out any loose debris that might be down in the crack. I use a dental tool to pry loose the, the packed hemp fibers from the crack. It's essential. Hemp can uh, swell and continue to force the crack to continue to grow. So be sure it's completely picked out. Also, residue left behind by wax hemp will interfere with a strong bond between the blackwood dust and the drone crack. File the size of the crack as needed. The crack is now ready for filling. I'm collecting the tools that I'll be using to fill the crack. Here's a nozzle extension, which will be attached to the CA bottle. And also my source of African blackwood dust. And tweezers that will be used to fill the dust into the crack. I'd like to mention this time that this particular crack appears to be stable and shallow. It's over 20 years old. The end of the crack would normally be drilled through to stop crack from continuing to run. This was not done for this re repair, but a cross pinning was and will be demonstrated later in the video. A thin layer of application of CA adhesive is applied to the base of the crack. Give it a few minutes to cure. Do not fill the crack up with CA adhesive.
Now pack in a layer of dry African blackwood dust into the crack. Best to fill in, in layers as needed, depending on the depth of the crack. After you have packed it in as well as you can with the tweezers or other tool, then you're ready to apply the CA uh, adhesive to the top of the uh, dried dust. The dust will absorb the, uh, the CA adhesive down into it itself and will begin to harden pretty rapidly. Note that a chemical reaction will occur and the dust plus CA will fume as fusion is taking place. Wear a respirator or vent fumes away from you. Avoid breathing vapors. You can see the CA uh, drops that are being applied to the dust, uh, the little shiny droplets there. I'm tipping out any loose dust that hasn't fused. And I'm scraping away loose dust at this point. Here's the fuse cracked is being in inspected. You can see it's raised away from the uh, inner bore of the drone stock. Now, using a dowel rod wrapped with 350 grit sandpaper, sand smooth the repair, move rod in and out as you rotate the rod. Concentrate pressure on the raised area of the repair. Avoid gouging out the stock itself. Inspect repair and sand with 800 grit sandpaper, thus smoothing out the mended area. You can also feel it with your finger to make sure that it's nice and smooth in transitioning from the the main part of the of the stock to the and bridging over the crack. These are the tools that will be used in the next half of the repair: finger drill, steel wire, and small drill bits. The stock will now be pinned with a steel wire to lock the wood at the crack site. Note that the stock finish has been stripped off for better view and inspection. The small mark is the surface crack that we noticed and the long mark is the actual crack visible from the inside. You notice that I'm just going to drill in the, the wood section from one side, but it will not pass through to the other side, nor into the inner bore of the drone stock. St start hole at a slight angle then drop down to the acute angle needed. Note that I chose to use a finger drill rather than a Dremel tool as I feel I have more control over the drilling operation. Check the fit of the steel rod for depth. Use cut end of the rod to break the dust free from the bottom of the hole. Just rotate the, the rod around and you'll, and you'll be able to clear the bottom of the hole. Here, just need to drill a little deeper. Notice I move the drill bit in and out to help clear the hole of dust. And the rod is used to check for depth and marked for cutting. You see how long the pin that I'll use to complete the repair.
I will now coat the cut piece of steel rod uh, with uh, a two-part JB weld epoxy and it is inserted into the full depth of the hole. You can see there it's, it's already in the hole and I've pushed it in as far as I can with uh, a section of rod. The pinhole after a five minute drying period is plugged with African blackfoot dust and fused with CA. The pinned hole is now ready for sanding in preparation for the stock being refinished. Observe the drone stock exterior was refinished with water-based polyurethane as used by the original maker. Sweet almond oil will be applied to the inside of the, of the bore, inner bore of the, of the drone stock. You can see where it's quite dry at this point. Note that there are several decay defects present in the bore. Stock would have to be reamed or rebored to remove. This option was not done in this repair. Wax will be used to fill in the defects to protect against moisture absorption. Sweet almond oil will now be evenly applied to the bore with a bore mop. Be sure to uh, coat the entire inner bore, rotate the bore mop uh, as you apply uh, the oil. Confirm oil coverage and apply more until there's even coverage. Pit defects that were noticed would be treated with wax. Set stock aside and allow any applied oil to be drawn in by dry wood a few hours will do. Now draw a dry swab through the bore to remove any excess oil and swab will also work as a polishing cloth. Now, now that you've completed this process, the bore and the bore has been treated, inspect it from both ends. Now wax will be worked into the observed pits not saturated by the oil. You can see it is nice and shiny and check it from both ends as suggested to make sure it's complete. Renaissance wax shown here which can be purchased in small quantities will be applied with my fingers and worked into the pitted areas. The wax should be allowed to dry for 24 hours. It will dry to a hard thin coating and can be polished if, 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 if needed. Over the next few months uh, the owner of these pipes should uh, reapply uh, the Renaissance wax as needed just to completely fill in the holes and they'll fill in in layers and, and dry uh, to a hard shell. Inspect the bore and be sure you're satisfied with the, with the application. And the final inspection, the drone stock is now ready for use. The stock has now been repaired and refinished and ready for use.